Like a good pair of DMs, Nigel Kennedy seems to walk on air. What Al Capone did for lasagna, this lad's done for the violin. Hearing Nigel on the old scraper would make anyone glad to be a Kennedy. Anyone who gets the old Vivaldi chestnut to the top of the charts has to be something special. Last year, a growth on his neck nearly put him out of business. It was a hard decision to go into the surgeon's knife. It put me out of um, classical playing for 14 weeks, and so it was a bigger thing they found in my neck than what they thought it would be. And so I went into the hospital and uh, had the thing sorted out. And a doctor, he said to the nurse while I was under local, he said, well, we've started now, it's too late to finish. And I thought, what the f*** am I doing here, you know? Oh. <laughs> put a beep in that. The success of the Four Seasons gave Nigel his biggest wish, to own his own instrument, not keep renting the old Strad, which he carried round in the Aston Villa case. It's something he always wanted. I think it's like, um, to have a fiddle like that, which can just go as far as your mind wants to take you, it's like, you know, it's beautiful for a musician to have something like that. So what, I'm looking at somebody who's poor, trying to earn the money to, to pay for it? I've got to pay it off in the next few years, man, yeah. You basically can't put a price on it, except that it's normally out of any musician's price range because of these sodding collectors who put them all in vaults and stuff like that. Nigel Kennedy might be bombarded with superlatives for classical violin playing, but really he prefers the lifestyle of the archetypal jazz man. For him, the saddest day was when Miles died a few weeks ago because Miles was an inspiration. He was always adverse to being a museum music, and that's like something I feel about classical and jazz, is that it shouldn't be a museum music full of experts who are good at talking about it, but no one who's putting fresh blood into the music itself. The Sid Vicious of violin? Nah. More the Paganini of post-punk.